right, I'll start us off then. I draw. You'll call, you can call dibs on a winner after both format games are done. Now, for my first move, I'll set two cards face down. Next, I'll summon Fire King Avatar Yaksha and attack. And with that, my turn will come to an end. All right, I draw. This is a nice turn of events. I'm going to activate Gold Sarcophagus. Response to that? No response. Cool, cool. I am going to banish. See if I can't find it real quick. Okay, it's right there. Magic Key Mephtaya. From my deck. Shuffle. This is the only time I'm going into my deck, so. Okay. I'm doing okay, Itachi's Dragon. How you doing? Want me to cut? Uh, we'll tap. Okay. Jokes on you! I just put the five pieces of exodia on top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to normal summon my maiden with eyes of blue in attack mode. Then I will set a card in the back row and get it in there. There you go. So one here, one here. And I will pass turn back to you. During the end phase, I'm going to reveal my trap card. Spiritual Fire Arts, Kuranai. With this, I can tribute a fire attribute monster, then inflict damage to my opponent equal to that monster's original attack points. And with Yaksha's original attack, and with Yaksha tribute, you will now suffer 1,800 points of effect damage. Right. Because that's exactly what Yaksha's attack points are. <laughs> right, I'm at 62. Now it's my turn. I draw. Anything during my standby phase? Uh, no, nope, nothing. As the saying goes, there is a method to one's madness. Because now I play my spell card, Onslaught of the Fire Kings. Oh, there we go. Because my because only my opponent controls a monster, I can special summon a fire attribute beast, beast warrior, or wing beast from my deck. But that monster's effects are negated, and that monster is destroyed during the end phase as well. Okay. And my target shall be Well, why not? <laughs> okay. Sacred Phoenix of Nexus. Okay, okay. What's his attack? 2,400. 2,000? Okay. I want to activate Trap Hole. Target Destroy. Oh, Go and that was a special summon, not a normal summon. Oh. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Willow, you didn't see that. <laughs> hmm. Next. I'll normal summon Fire King Avatar Kirin in attack position. 1,000 attack points. I might as well trap hold it. Okay, good. I heard you say normal summon that time. <laughs> yes. And because Kirin was destroyed and sent to the graveyard, I can send, I can send a fire attribute monster from my deck to the grave. What do you mean, no? Oh, I almost forgot. Second chain, chain link two. 
Because the face of Fire Monster, I might feel to destroy my battle or an opponent's card effect. I can special summon this from my hand. Then I will tip deal damage to you equal to half of the attack points of one of those destroyed fire monsters in my graveyard. So I'll special summon Cataclysmic Scorching Soul Burner in attack. Okay, and because Kieran's attack points is 1000, you'll take 500 points of damage because it'll be half its original attack points. Okay. Fifty-seven. Thank you for the likes and the follows. <laughs> What's going to happen next? I assure you, you won't like. Oh, and this isn't just a pyro deck, but it's mainly a fire attribute deck with some additions. Cutter tech. I got some for the big bird, but don't you worry. Cutter tech. Oh, uh, cut it in half. All right, and how many cards right. to the bottom of my deck? Two, three. Very well. Now I shall proceed to battle phase, and I will first declare my attack with Sacred Phoenix Nectus on your maiden. Alright. Can't activate her effect. In response to Main's effects, I will now reveal my face down card. My counter trap Solemn Strike. I'll pay 1,500 of my life points, and then your monster's effect is negated, and if I do, that monster is now destroyed. Cool. <clears throat> I can activate her second effect. Oh, it's not targeted. It's just negating the effect upon being selected as an attack target. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I couldn't even use it anyway. It says you can only use one of those effects per turn. All right. All right, I believe replay happens. Yep, a replay does occur. In that case, Sacred Fierce Nexus will now attack you directly for 2,400. 24, I will go down to 33. And next, Cataclysmic Sc Scorching Burner will attack you directly now for 2,600. 26, I will go down to 700. Oh man, I sure am on the rocks. <laughs> And now I will my shift turn. to the end phase of my turn. And during this time, Sacred Phoenix Neptus will now be destroyed as it was special summoned by Onslaught of the Fire Kings. Now it's your turn. All right, I will draw for turn. One little thing passes on that thingy. Yeah. I think I can do that. I'm going to use the discard effect of King of the Swamp. I'm going to discard it to add a polymerization to my hand. Of course. <laughs> discard. <laughs> I wish I could add any polymerization card. I'd add Super Poly to my hand, but no. <laughs> Gotta be regular Poly. Exactly. Right, I'll put my deck aside, because depending on what I choose to get, I might be going back into it. Alright. Would you like to see some magic, my friend? I normal summon La Jin, Genie of the Lamp. Now this is where the magic trick comes in, because I want to turn him into something bigger. I activate Polarization, fusing him. <laughs> and Jet Dragon and regular Blue Eyes from my hand. Three monsters with different names. How interesting. Guardian Chimera. In attack mode. Attempt to activate his effect. You're welcome. <laughs> so, he needs to be fusion summoned with three monsters with different names, at least one on the hand and or field. Uh, and however many materials were on the field, I can destroy that many cards, and however many uh, materials were in the hand, I draw that many cards. Alright, so so you get to the <coughs> first, then my monster will be destroyed. Right. Which, probably need to shuffle my deck before I draw. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Tachi? I'm glad you know this, uh, this big boy here. <laughs> and also, his third effect is he can't be... He can't be targeted 
Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects while Palmerization is in the graveyard. Want me to cap? Yes. Oh, this is gonna be funny. <clears throat> oh, I've already done normal summon this turn, that sucks. Unnecessary evil. I wonder. I, th I think this effect works like this. So, I destroyed a card, and then I drew two cards. Can I then chain Jet Dragon from the grave since card was destroyed? Mm -hmm. Depends on what the card that chain says. have to resolve. Well, if, if Blue Eyes White Dragon is on the field or in the graveyard, and if the card gets destroyed, he can special summon himself from the graveyard or my hand. Well, that starts a new chain for you then. So, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So, new chain, Jet Dragon from grave. I didn't know if the, he like missed timing or something. Boom! Special summon. All right. Are we ready to go into battle phase, my friend? Yes, we are. All right, I will first attack you with my blue eyes jet dragon. And you don't have anything for me to return to the hand, do you? <laughs> no. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> 3,000 from him. And then I will declare an attack with my guardian chimera. That's 33. Yep. So what's your life points at? 200. 200. Ooh. Can't wait to cook you next turn. I will go into my main phase two. I will set the card in the back row. And pass turn. Very well. Now it's my turn. I draw. And during this... I know, right? And I'll <laughs> shift it. And now an effect will trigger during the standby phase. Okay. Sacred Phoenix of Nectus, we special summon to my field from the graveyard because it was destroyed by a card effect. And if I do, all spell and track cards on the field are destroyed. Nice. You destroyed my magic key unlocking. Hmm. Next, I will normal summon Fire King Avatar of Rata. Now then. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Now then. I'll proceed to battle phase, and I will choose to have my Sacred Phoenix of Nectus attack your Blue Eyes Jet Crack. Alright. I do believe it works when he's getting attacked too. Yeah. What's his attack? 2,400. So will you activate right. the effect or not? Yeah, I'm going to activate his effect. All right, now then, here's a funny thing. Fire King I'm, I'm going to target the one not effect. attacking him. In response to your Jet Dragon effect. When a monster effect is activated while this monster is on the field, quick effect. I can negate the activation, and if I do, I can destroy one fire monster in my hand or face of field. And I will choose to destroy my Neptus yet again. Okay. I see you cooking, so you negated the effect, and now the attack goes through. The attack goes through. You the... <laughs> yep, I'll attack anyway. This time into your Guardian Chimera. Forget him. To me. Or no, re replay. No, I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> GGs, GGs. I like it. How would you like me to cut? That way. Um. Cut in half with the top five cards since Labama you're down. And you? I will say cut in half and the top six to the bottom of your deck. Okay. <laughs> I know that's just extra, I'm sorry. <laughs> I 
then do this. Alright then. I'll play the spell card Dragon Shrine. Any response? I have no response. In that case, I'll send a dragon type from my deck to the graveyard. <laughs> and I'll be ditching Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. And because I, I have, have no monsters on my it's, field. It's crazy. <laughs> And because I have no monsters on my field, I can special summon Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm from my graveyard. Now, any effect upon its summon effect? I know, right, 2x, you could be a hater. When Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm is normal or special summon, I can add a Supreme Gate King Gate monster from my deck to my hand. Nope, no response. I, I didn't draw case, any of my 50 copies of interaction, so <laughs> go ahead and go. Very well. I will add Supreme King Gate Magician. Then I'll activate Supreme King Gate Magician and set the pendulum scale. Next up, I'll activate Supreme King Gate Magician's pendulum effect. I destroy this card, and if I do, I place a Supreme King Gate Pendulum Monster from my hand or deck in my Pendulum Zone other than itself. And so I'll replace it with Supreme King Gate Zero. Okay. Next, uh, because no a card on my <laughs> and next, because a card on my field was destroyed, I special summon Astrograph Sorcerer. And with that. I can also add the cop another, another copy of the card that was destroyed, if need be. So I'll bring out so I'll bring another Supreme King Gate Magician to my hand. That's the vibe we're going for, Cap. Next. I'll use Dark Worm and Astrograph to link some. That's right. <laughs> there we go. Now, I'll link some into Beyond the Pendulum. And when Beyond the Pendulum is linked to me, I can add a Pendulum Monster from my deck to my hand. After paying 1,200 of my life points on this. Leaving me at the moment with 6,800 life points. No, he's not cheating. <laughs> and I will add Supreme King Dragon Lightworm this time. And then add and then set the pendulum scale with it. Hi, hi. Mm -hmm. I guess the Jar song Jar, yes you have. You've seen dog fighting before, right? <laughs> Yeah, I guess the song that must have been a little more loose than I thought. But, no matter. It just means I have. It just means there's one spot to still be more careful of. Alright. Now, they got nothing better to do. <laughs> now then, next Thank I'll pendulum summon. Know. 
Astrograph Sorcerer, Supreme King Gate Magician, and my second Supreme King Gate Magician. And I'll activate one of my Supreme King Gate Magician's effects. When Supreme King Gate is special summoned to my field, I can add a card that mentions Supreme King Dragon's Arcane's name, other than a spellcaster type. And of course, one of my other cards spill out from my hand. Now I'll add this one. Which is? Solve the Supreme Celestial King. Okay. But yes, I am. He's not trying to get Zark out. He's trying to make me upset with how many, how many cards he's putting on his view. What are you like, plus 20 right now? <laughs> 29. And I am about to be 30 by the end of this year, so. There's also that. Bro, I'm turning 30, uh, turning 30 at the beginning of January. Oh yeah, so like I'll be 30 before you then. <laughs> In that case. I'll set three cards face down. And next, I'm going to link Beyond the Pendulum with one of my Supreme King Gate Magicians. Glad you're here. You're gonna see me cook this dude. Happy early birthday, guys. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Cosmo. Now I with this I will now link someone into Grand Silver Cord Coolia. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I will end my turn with that. Alright. So you have full back row plus your pendulums, and you have two, three monsters. <laughs> a link and two in the back. Alright. Can I target your link with card effects? Um, you're welcome to try it. Welcome to try it. <laughs> Alright, let's just see what you got. I'm gonna activate mind control targeting your link monster. Mm, very well. Although now that link monster will be in your main monster zone. He's the goodest of boys, and I think you're getting him back at the end of the turn, right? Until the end phase. But it cannot attack or be tributed. <laughs> what uh, what type is he? A light attributing dragon. fairy. A light fairy. Maybe a dark man. <laughs> oh, I see. Of course, That's I can't fair. link it off. Mm -hmm. Man, I will be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna set two, and I will. I will pass turn back to you, and you get it back. During the end phase, I will reveal my trap card, Soul of the Supreme Celestial King. Right. With this, 
I can tribute a spellcaster monster type monster on my field whose original attack points is 2,500. And from there, I can banish materials from my on my field, hand, deck, and extra deck prior to special summoning Supreme King Zargon. Oh, so, man, you're getting Zargon in the turn. That hurts. <laughs> so now, from my deck, I will banish Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. I don't know. <laughs> Next, from my extra deck, I will now banish Starving Venom Predator Power Fusion Dragon. Then I will banish Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. Okay, okay. And finally, I banish Odd Eyes Rebellion Xyz Dragon. And from there, I will fusion summon. Supreme King Zark. Using anything but all the magicians to get out Zark is lame. <laughs> and also, because all my and because the monsters banished, banished have Pendulum Dragon, Aziz Dragon, Single Dragon, and Fusion Dragon monsters in their name, Supreme King Zark's effect will not be negated. Thus, on its special summon, all cards my opponent controls are destroyed. Oh, that's dirty. That was all during my end phase, wasn't it? Indeed. Well, you destroyed my solid warning in my powerhouse. <laughs> Terrific. Lucky me. Uh, take your turn and cook me already. <laughs> I, uh, I bricked a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> now, one more thing. Cutter tap. You know what? Take the top two thirds of your deck and put it on the bottom. <laughs> oh shit. The fucking deck just fell. Oh, this is gonna be fun to pick up. <laughs> okay. Oh, and by the way, I do tend to clean my, my phone cameras like every once in a while. But yeah. Hilarious. Nah, it's just because of what people were saying in the chat. That's all. Oh. Now it's my turn. I draw. This will be hilarious for me. <laughs> he said he said he needs turns. <laughs> now, first off, I will pinch on some. First for my extra deck, Supreme King Dragon Dark War. And next for my hand, I will pinch on summon perform a power celestial magician. Now. Supreme King Dragon Dark Run for Chain Link 1 and Perform a Pal Celestial Magician for Chain Link 2. So, Perform a Pal Celestial Magician. If this card was normal or special summon this turn, I can apply the following effects for the duration of this turn based on the other monsters that are currently on my field. <clears throat> because I control a fusion monster, Celestial Magician can attack you directly anyway. And because I control a pendulum monster, I can add a pencil monster from my deck to my hand during the end phase. And next. I got a question. With Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. And next, with Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm, I'm special, normal or special summon, I can add a Supreme King Gate monster from my deck to my hand. Thanks, Brianna. Just, just, just. It is, I like it. 
Thank you. Let me see. Mm. Yeah, no. I thought it was night. I thought it was Nightmare Jewels getting impatient for a bit, but no. And, um. Small here, Reggie? Okay. No. No offense to Smalia, but no. <clears throat> and besides, this duel is almost over. So, I'll add Supreme King Gate Magician yet again. My deck is not a week. Now. Well, at least it was my banished pile. It sucks that my spell and cut part of zone files are starting to become loosened, but still. Now I will proceed to battle phase. So, first, Is Supreme King Zark will attack King? you direct. Supreme King Zark will attack you for 4,000. Alright, alright. Then Astrograph Sorcerer for 2,500. Okay, I'm at 15. Next. Yes, you are at 1500 left, so next. Perform a pile Celestial Illusion will end the duel with five, with 1500. <laughs> exactly enough, I gotcha. I played one card <laughs> that whole duel. <laughs> That's how bad I break. Alright, how do you want me to cut? Alright. Mm, cut in half, send the five, uh, seven cards of your deck to the bottom. <clears throat> For you, I will say likewise. Alright. And as the loser, I will go... I'll go first. Alright. <laughs> That's true. More than one monster. Now let's see what you can do I for your first I had one monster turn. out. It was his monster. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, are we ready? Yes, we are. So let's see how you can go right. for your turn. I will normal summon Infinitrack Anchor Drill. His effect on summon. Okay. I will special summon a fin track brutal dozer from my hand. His effect yes, on it is summon. Yes, <laughs> Thank you. His effect on summon. I can Perfect. special summon. Huh? Oh, I was just explaining the chat. Um, blue, blue zones here, and the area, uh, dark violet. Effect on summon, he special summons from the deck. Go ahead. Cook off all you want. <laughs> I don't like the way you said that. All you gotta do is add up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Finish track, Trencher. Alright. Now I will connect my dual disc back together because it's falling apart. Excuse me, you won't do it because I dual too rough. Hey, you don't do it too rough. You dual too sweaty, bro. I don't want to get your sweat anywhere near me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, I will use my brutal dozer and trencher to XC summon. Thank you. To River Stormer. No response. I want to activate his effect. I want to detach trencher. Man, this these things do not like these big guards leave. Detach trencher from him. 
search my deck. Adds a card from deck to hand. Yes. Go ahead and cook off all you want. It'll just make this sweeter for me. extension. Put it in the back row. Now you can no longer target my machine XC's monsters with any card effects. Not target machine XC's monsters you control with card effects. I will attempt to use the second effect. Or use the outrigger extension second effect. Targeting him. Rank him up from a rank 5 into a rank 7. Alright. Gonna track Mountain Smasher. Put him into attack. That attack gain permanent. Yes it is. Alright, I will Don't I'm mistake us for celebrities. <laughs> we are celebrities. In our own little community, we're the best. I'm gonna link off my Infinity Track Anchor Drill into a Link 1 Finitrack Goliath. I'll put him into the floor, apparently. <laughs> and the left, my left, will be your right. <laughs> Finitrack Goliath right there. <laughs> then I will tribute him to the graveyard do drag shovel from my hand. Alright. Then I'm going to use this guy's effect. The infinite track when he when he's a he's a link monster so when he gets sent to the graveyard I can attach him to an XC's monster I control. Okay. I'm gonna put him onto my mountain smasher. Then I'm going to use Mountain Smash's effect, detach material to gain a thousand attack. I will detach. You know what? I'll just put Goliath back in the grave. Good? Yes. And, and then I'm going to use my Drag Shovel's effect. I'm going to banish a machine monster to add a spin turn from my deck to my hand. Let's banish. You know what? I don't want to touch my two effect monsters, so I'm going to banish my Infinity Track Goliath. And I'm going to add... Spin Turn. It's still Big Z's first turn for the rematch, so... No life points have been depleted or increased yet. Oh, mm, possibly. Beautiful. ADHD in battle form. <laughs> okay. And now, here's what I'm going to do. The two monsters in my graveyard, I'm going to use Trencher's effect, banishing him to special summon an Infinitrack monster from my grave, which the only one left is this guy right here. So my Anchor Drill will be special summoned. And this guy's banished. And now I'm going to use, this is my final play probably, I'm going to use uh, Anchor Drill's effect and target my Drag Shovel. Since it's a, he's a level 4, he's targeting level 5, they both become level 9. Alright. Alright. And now, I exceed summon into your nightmare, Earth Slicer, if I check Earth Slicer. Alright. And I'm going to set 1. Set two. And I will end my turn. Very well. Ali has a question for you, Big Z. What's up? I 
bought it off eBay, Ellie. There you go. Now it's my turn. I draw. Mm. For my like first move, I uh, to make get something. <laughs> For my first move, I'll activate Genta, Gateman of Dark World's effect. I discard okay. it to the graveyard to add the Gates of Dark World for my deck. On my hand. Any response? That's awesome. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I'll give you something to ask Blossom about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I will say. This is the only card in my hand, and I want you to discard it. Okay. He wants his arm we'll back. see about that. Next up, I'll have to make the spell card Dark Corridor. With this, I can add a Dark World tap. With this, I can add a Dark World monster from my deck to my hand, and discard one card afterwards. And I will choose to add snow on Light of Dark World. And then I shall discard Grotha. And with Grotha's discard effect, I will choose to target and destroy okay. your continuous spell next to your face down spell and trap card. This guy? Yes. Cool, cool. That was perfect for acting it. Cool, cool. Next, I activate my field spell, the Gates of Dark World. And now I will activate the, my field spell's effect. I will banish Genta from my grave. And of course it fell to the floor. But no matter. It's getting the angles under control, really, on mine. So, first, I'll banish Genta from my grave. Then I will discard Snow, then I'll draw one card. So, two chain links. First off, Snow for Hopefully chain link one. Hopefully didn't mean that in a way that I think they meant that. <laughs> yeah, custom made duel this yeah. So like, Snow's discard effect for chain link one and Genta for chain link two. Because I currently control a Dark World card on my field, I can special summon Genta from the Banish Zone. Keynote, Genta can only be special summoned once per turn. And with Snow, I get to add a Dark World card from my deck and add it to my hand. And I will choose to add Oh, wow. Second to top. <laughs> Alright, next up. I'll return Genta from my field to my hand. The special summon this monster from the grave. Monster I'm special summoning, which of course may not be a surprise to anyone, is Grafa, Dragon Lord no, of We're Dark just looking Lord. at each other, TK. <laughs> now then, do you have any surprises in store for me before I continue? Depends what you're gonna do. All right. I'll activate my quick play spell, Dark World Ascension. Okay. 
So, I will banish the Grafa that's on my field. Then I will banish from my graveyard. So I'll have no. ability ticket. So Grafa and Snow will be banished from my field and graveyard, respectively. And because I will be fusion summoning a Dark World monster, I can also discard Dark World cards to do so. So I will just be discarding Harl, my level 7 rainbow, and Genta. Okay. And with that, I will fusion summon... Is this the most amount of lights you've ever had? Yes. Well, <laughs> actually, 20k is the most likes I've ever had. So, with these five monsters, I will now fusion yes. summon into Chlorless, King of Chaos King of Dark World. Can and if this card is As long as you can respond to his fusion summon effect, if this card is fusion summon, I can destroy all cards my opponent controls, non-targeting. And furthermore, this card's original attack and defense points become the number of materials used for his fusion summon multiplied by 1,000. Okay. Before you do that, good sir, uh, on his summon, I'm going to activate spin turn. In response to that, I'll activate Chloris' quick effect. Once per turn, I can target one face-up card in my field, discard one card, and my opponent cannot target that face-up card with card effects for the duration of this turn. So I will discard in response to Ken that, the Warrior Dragon. I will activate Metal Holes. Is that a quick... Is that a counter trap? No, it's a continuous trap. And with that, Clawless will be unaffected... Will not be... Is untargeted by other card effects for the rest of the turn. And all, and all cards on your field will now be destroyed. Alright. What, what's this whole nuking the field fetish that you have? <laughs> That's Chloris's effect. On fusion side. Does it make it less of a fetish? <laughs> And you made me miss timing with one discard effect, but still. Next up, I'll activate Dark World Accession's effect in the graveyard. Yep, since it's still my main phase. If it's in my grave, I can add this card. Nope, not yet. Not yet. I'll set one card face down now. And now I'll proceed to battle phase. And with five monsters used, its original attack points become 5,000, with the additional 300 added from Gates of Dark World. So, Chloralus will attack you directly for 5,300. All right, I'm down to 27. With that, my turn shall come to an end. You know what would be absolutely terrific? If I could borrow that Chloralis. Mm, okay. All right. Just despite well, I have a 5,300 attack monster that cannot attack or be attributed. It has to be from here. <laughs> Damn. Why can't you just maybe discard this card, man? That's what Dark World does. <laughs> <laughs> I would have also countered that event, but my hand's empty now. <laughs> I tell you what, this, uh, it's not looking good. Potentially one of them, but um, Chloralis is a level 12 fusion monster. So. Yeah, I can't do anything with 
don't go that big. I <laughs> unfortunately can't do anything but pass my turn and you get your chloralist back. Oh, that's too bad. Now it's my turn. I draw. I can't even link someone. <laughs> <clears throat> now then. Main phase. Wait, good, that'd be nice. Shall I put you out of your misery with a battle phase now? Go for it. <laughs> I'll enter battle phase, and Chloralis, Chaos King of Te Dark World, now attacks you direct. Bring it on, God. GG's. <laughs> I had Ruin Force in my hand. It's like, come on, come on, let me special summon it. <laughs> you know what's the hilarious part of this is? 